We're here in Eccles Hotel in Glengarth in County Cork and a very special event we are at because Maureen O'Hara, the icon actor herself, is launching the Legacy Centre today. A lot of people have known Maureen O'Hara because of being an actor, but she made some serious changes for Irish people in 1946. Because at the time, if you applied for dual citizenship as an Irish person, you had to sign a form to say you were a UK subject. Of course, Maureen decided this was not going to happen and she fought the courts. She lost, came out of court and then decided she was having none of that and took back off inside to face the judge down. And of course, history was made. From there, of course, the president here in Ireland sent a team over and there you have it. We could now apply and be Irish citizens. Not only just while I was there, I mean, before I went there, the very, very, very first film I ever cried at was How Green Was My Valley. I fell in love with her like everybody else in The Quiet Man. Her voice, her, her demeanour, her passion mm. is something that's, you know, wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful thing. Mm. And it encourages people and certainly continues to inspire me. And I can't wait just to touch the hem of her dress. You are the Rose Tralee. Is there any way that you can incorporate our Moin O'Hara, Dublin woman as she says, she's a dub, into representing everything that is about the Rosa Trilly? I think she's an incredibly independent lady, she always has been, and a lot of her characters have been as well, and she's portrayed it very well, but she, to meet her even tonight and to hear her speak, she's just such a strong personality. About uh, four years ago, Carolyn Murphy called our home and asked if I would be able to do a private concert for a close friend of hers who was celebrating her birthday. And I said, okay, we can arrange that. And I said, and what is your friend's name? And she said, Maureen O'Hara. And I said, well, I think any day you want to do this. I am absolutely delighted to be here to welcome everybody to this evening where we pay tribute um, to the, the legendary, the iconic leading lady of Hollywood, but um, of Ireland as well, Maureen O'Hara. She's an icon, isn't she? And um, someone just to look up to yeah. and to admire and if to listen. If you could have a career anywhere near as successful as her, you know, it's, it's, because there aren't that many Irish female actors that are role models and she really is, I mean she made it big everywhere, everybody knows who she is, she is an icon. She's fantastic and she's so full of, full of life and yeah. she kind of said, you know, if you go anywhere in the world, whether it's Australia or Canada or, you know, the States, just to represent Ireland and represent mm -hmm. it well. Ireland seems really close to her heart and, and yeah. something that she kind of has always kept, kept with her and um, I thought that was really lovely. Yeah. Thank you for giving us that, Maureen, that wonderful inspiration. You are a continuing role model to all of us, people in Ireland and particularly women. So thank you for that. Is it true that you were actually part of the Lord of the Dance at one stage? Yes. You were involved in yeah, that? I was in the original um, Lord of the Dance show and I recorded the original dance music as well. Well, I've been described by Hot Press magazine as the Jimi Hendrix of the accordion and um, I'm also in the Guinness Book of Records as the, with the fastest fingers in the world. I was delighted to be invited by Maureen O'Hara as um, I've been 17 years in the industry, the entertainment industry, and I've been in America for the last seven years. How did you get on over in America? What were they like to work with? Like Maureen said today in her speech, actually, um, the Australians and the Americans are very welcoming for Irish people, and if you're willing to work hard, they certainly reward you with a lot of work. Do you know what I noticed? I'm looking out there in the whole shape and the whole silhouette. Of course, you've got the body to wear it. One of the dresses that we are going to be looking at in a little while is something like that. I'm very excited about that. Ten Hollywood incredible iconic dresses from the movies. And I have to say, I feel like a bit of a movie star myself this evening. You actually look like one. Thank you. <laughs> You're the organisers of this event. How difficult was it putting it together? Extremely difficult. <laughs> Four months of hard work. Challenging. Um, challenging, yeah. But very. But difficult. all worth it. Absolutely. What exactly are you doing with the centre? I'm archiving. I did um, an inventory 
with description and pictures. And uh, when we saw everything together, Maureen said, my God, I didn't know I had that much memorabilia. Mm -hmm. And I said, what are we going to do with it? I said, Maureen, it cannot be sold. Mm -hmm. I said, this is, this is legacy uh, memorabilia. And she said, well, who do you think would want, want it? And I said, well, we have a lot of universities asking. She said, I know, but I, I'd like to see the people of Ireland mm -hmm. um, have this. Do you think Len Gareth would be interested? And I said, absolutely. What exactly is going to happen from here on in tonight? First of, uh, first of January next year is a year of fundraising. We have substantial money to fundraise. Um, and thereafter, we're in construction. And that will take 18 months, and then we're built. We're built 2013 late, and then we're open for business. And it will house the International Academy, the Moynihan International Film Academy. The courses we're running will be accredited to un institutions, universities. There will be certified courses in the film school part of the academy. Um, but we're going to push the boundaries. We're going to teach and upskill beyond accreditation and give them what Maureen has done. Maureen has gone beyond that. Maureen has an expression, an Irishness, and that's what we want to do. Hopefully parents will send their kids as students, and I hope that out of the, those students becomes another great uh, actor or actor or director or writer or something wonderful for Ireland and wonderful that Glenn Garf can say, oh, we, we bred her or him. Yeah. She, he or she is from us.